the men behind the mask. We're gonna introduce these guys one by one for you. Starting first, right here I got my man Nick Prince of Eden. I, 
mean, how do I compete with these guys who have won, wore so many suits and costumes? You know, I mean, I was just like Michael Myers, but just, you know. <laughs> Uh, the funny thing is, when, when Wayne Top designed the mask, uh, we went and over and did a fitting at his studio, and Rob was there, and I was like, oh, that's real cool, oh, man. Rob goes, just shut up and put it on. Let's see if it fits, okay? Okay. And, uh, I mean, it was just, it was really exciting to put it on, because I knew what was going to come, and I knew the kills that we were going to do, and it was bringing an iconic character to life, and I was very excited about that. And you want to talk some more? Okay. <laughs> I'll give it back to the MC. There you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> since you guys are up for a lot of the same roles, is there any competition amongst you? Or are you guys all friendly? Or what's going on here? Me and him actually talked about this yesterday, and um, we kind of got annoyed when someone said competition because we're all friends. And if I didn't get a role, I would want any of these guys to get it, and that's the same way they feel about it, and I don't know. Really? We do? Fuck you. <laughs> okay, I gotta change my attitude. I was just patronizing you, Nick. I really didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. No, I don't. We did not do a shower. So he came at me and started, you know, pushing me, and I was like, okay, wait a minute. And I called to, I, I think you were there. Nick was there. I said, I need some stickum for these shoes so I can get some traction here, put the stickum on, and then I said, okay, you wanna, you wanna destroy a bathroom? Let's destroy a bathroom. I think I can do that. I've done it once or twice in my life. And. Uh, and we just smashed the shit out of the stall, and Rob came in and goes, oh, that was a real cool breakaway bathroom. No. And they look at Rob and go, that was the real one. <laughs> they broke the bathroom. We broke the, the, the toilet. We broke the, the wall, the dividing thing, the mirror. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Trying to get the knife, uh, yeah, just yeah. fucking slam it. In. <laughs> You're sitting there like. And, and I wanted it to look brutal, so I mean, I just I put my hand around around his wrist so that I would take most of it, and I just I was I'm gonna get some aggression out here, and I just started ramming my fist against the wall, and I just everything started breaking. I was like, oh, this is cool. Let's do this about ten more times. <laughs> it looked pretty good. Made the movie. You know, it's a lot of fun if you like, if, like people who don't know who you are or what you're talking about. Sounds fantastic. The totally different story about what's going on with you and a man in the bathroom. And we need something sticky, you know. So, so I grabbed him and I was ramming him over and over. It's crazy. We broke a lot of things. I mean, I did it like 10 times, but you know. I just, oh, shit. I'm so red. That was really funny. I just got a bad visual. The funny thing that I do remember about that is, is he was covered in blood, right? And we were getting ready to go for lunch. And so after that, I said, oh, just, everybody just leave him. We shut the lights out and we walked away. And then, of course, Wayne Toth had to go and pull him out of the sticky blood while everybody was eating. It was kind of funny. <laughs> say it. Uh, well, I don't have much to say. I mean, I, I mean if you know or not, um, 
before I like did stunts and acting full time, I was a, a prop guy, and I worked on the original Halloween with Tyler. And I don't really want to. Well, there's two of them, and I don't know. I didn't even watch the second. But <laughs> no, next question. What would be your favorite death scene of your own character in any of your movies? I only died once. That's not fair. Yeah. I don't know. Um, if you saw the end of the first Lady the rest where I died, that was fucking miserable because there was a big fake head and the lady hit it with a bat and my head was underneath it and there was just garbage bags over. There was just fake blood just pouring down and pouring down and pouring down. My nose was closed off and I was choking on all the blood and they're like, great job, great job. And I'm <laughs> And then, um, I don't know. Like, I freaked out and ripped the thing off because I didn't hear him yell, cut. And they were like, that was awesome. I'm like, great, I almost died. Fuck you. <laughs> Camera was rolling though, right? Awesome. My last testament and will in a straight to DVD horror movie. Fuck you. <laughs> you know? Um, but, I don't know. Next. Ah, <laughs> uh, favorite, favorite? Just seen if you're on character. Uh, that would have to be the Mr. Wink character from Hubboy 2. Uh, when, they, when they got ready to kill that character, because it became kind of enduring, the character, they weren't sure if they were going to make him a good guy, a bad guy, if he was going to switch over it and be a, a good guy at the end of the movie. And when they finally decided to kill him in the big grinding wheel, uh, people it's, people start wearing name tags the day that he was supposed to die that, sit, that said, Save Wink. You know? And it was just I was like, oh. It's just like, you know, it's probably opposite what you guys are really going for here because there was a lot of blood and guts. But it, it was just great that, you, that we created this character that people, like, wanted, that was supposed to die in the movie, and people kind of switched gears and were kind of like thinking that, how can we make it live? And I just thought that was pretty cool. That was so boring, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, my favorite scene is in Predators where I cut off Derek's head. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it, it's hard to pick. I've uh, had my head cut off in movies. I've uh, been shot, stabbed. I'd have to say the decapitation was kind of cool. In, in How to Make a Monster. Uh, Nobody's probably ever seen that movie, right? <laughs> One person, hey! It's probably from the uh, the Jason like drowning scene uh, at the end when they, they had that slow shot and I float to the bottom of the uh, the lake, which is insane. And I learned that day that uh, I had a prosthetic arm where I can't close my mouth all the way, and my jaws kind of tweak with the uh, the makeup. And I learned that day that uh, to when you take water in your mouth, that you have to be able to put your lips together to get rid of that water. Uh, I learned this kind of the hard way when they bring you up, you can't breathe, so that kind of sucked. Um, and also I learned that you, if you have like clothes on that are heavy and prosthetics that fill with water, uh, when you're closing your eyes you sink 20 feet pretty fast and you can't swim up yourself and you have to have your diver safety team come in and take you up. It's a lot of trust and a lot of fun. Good times. <laughs> yes, you're right. it's safety team. Thank you, driver safety team, if you watch this on YouTube from people's cameras. Thank you. <laughs> On the lines of cutting off uh, Derek's head, uh, who's your favorite person to kill on the field? There's been so many. <laughs> <laughs> Each one's like the first. You start with a gentle fall play, then you put it all the way in, then you take it all the way out. And you repeat. <laughs> um, No, um, it's tough. Um, coolest celebrity I ever killed was uh, George Kennedy in a movie called Sands of Oblivion. That was really cool. It's one of the only things my dad was ever proud that I've ever done. <laughs> uh, that and working with Roddy Roddy Piper in a movie. Woo! My dad was pretty psyched about that. Yeah, we have high standards in life. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'd say coolest kill and the most fulfilling was uh, killing Brian Austin Green. <laughs> You guys like that a lot, I know. <laughs> uh, Brian? <laughs> the, uh, 
The, um, I don't really have a favorite person that I, that I got to kill. I can tell you I have a favorite person that I wanted to kill and couldn't kill in a movie, and that would be Adrian Brody, Brody in Predators, because that would have been just a great kill. <laughs> it would have been awesome. There was something about the, the pianist in Predators, and you know, there's somebody I just wanted to kill him. <laughs> um, it would have been slow. I would have peeled back his skin, left it on his face, and made him lose through that. Uh -huh. I hung him up for a little bit, and maybe a little bonfire around the bottom as the other three predators kind of like just enjoyed themselves. Predator who died. Enjoyed themselves. That sounded weird, didn't it? That kind of weird. Predator who died. Yeah, right? <laughs> what? It's just something I'm into. It's like kids in the panel. What are they talking about? Sorry. He'll get it. I would have to say, uh, anytime you get to kill a beautiful naked woman, <laughs> and I've done that, as you guys know, a few times, I always, um, no, but, but seriously, uh, killing Danny Trejo, was a lot of fun because it, it was kind of like changed around and Danny came and go, what, I die? I go, yeah, you're gonna die bad, boy. And it was a lot of fun working with Danny and, and we worked together in the past and killing him and, and slamming that TV on someone's head is always kind of fun. That's the sad part of the whole movie, actually. Oh. This is crazy. This is like, honestly, the, the craziest panel. This was basically like us hanging out at the bar together, but there's a microphone this time. That's all it is. No so words. crazy. Uh, oh, Lord above. It's horrible. Uh, no, mine is from, uh, from Friday with uh, Aaron Yu, the slow, saving Private Ryan screwdriver to the uh, head to the brain kill. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna let it die real quick. All the energy right now is gonna let it die at the end of there. Wait for it. This is confidence. Someone there fart. Do <laughs> <laughs> no, that was it. Do it. <laughs> I got this back to uh, we need a boom. We need yeah, a boom mic. We need a boom mic. Everybody needs their own mic. Yeah, right? That, that would be, be the worst thing I had. Have you ever a question? Way back there, yeah. The beard? Alright. Uh, the beard. <laughs> well, you got the head on it. This is actually for uh, Nick and Brett's guys to do it too. On the um, Play the Rest DVD on the Making Up, you always got your uh, headphones on, like listen to something to pump up the scene. What were you listening to? Which, which question? Fuck, man. Uh, wait, 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 what scene was it? I don't know. Just on the Making Up, you always got the iPod on. What do you, what do you listen I... to pump up for a scene? He listens to Weird Al. <laughs> I like to start off with some Robbie Williams. I move over to some Celine Dion. A little Oingo Boingo, and then Big Country. That's how I roll, fucker. No, um, honestly, uh, it, it depends. I mean, if it's like something like kind of like emotional or something like that, I might listen to like some soundtrack scores or something like that. But for the most part, I'm, I'm usually listening to like like hardcore. I like a lot of like really like. Breakdown heavy stuff like Emir or um, I don't know, like a lot. Of, to be honest, just tough guy stuff or like hip hop or a lot of Boston hardcore. And then like when it's like uglier stuff, I like a lot of like sludge metal, like I Hate God or uh, like yeah, like I don't know, just whatever fits the mood. But I don't, I'm always listening to something just because, in total honesty, there's a lot of fucking boredom on set and it's really easy to lose your edge, like your aggression. So. I don't know, I'm easy to get pumped up, I'm easily excitable. Um, I hope that answered your question. <laughs> Welcome. So when you guys are on Laid to Rest, what music are you listening to to <laughs> pump yourself up? Oh, can I talk about something with Halloween that's kind of cool that I worked on? No, I'm just saying. Um, when we first shot that, you, don't you think, like, we... Don't oh, shush me, I have a microphone. <laughs> um, when we first did Halloween, it was more of like a Frankenstein vibe, like a misunderstood kind of monster thing. And then we went back and then totally just made it fucking mean as shit. Do you think? Like he was kind of like a like forced situation monster at first, but then I'm like, 
They're gonna go back, we're gonna kill Danny, we're gonna fucking kill the other girl, we're not gonna make a mistake at the end, we're really gonna kill him at the end, it's not gonna be like a feel bad for him thing, but I don't know, Tyler, thoughts? Thoughts. Um, yeah, I mean, like, the reason why we went back and killed some other people also is they, they showed some test audiences, and, and like you say, people were sympathetic for uh, they, Danny at, at that point, but when the test audiences saw it, they were sympathetic for Michael Myers, which is really not good when you're trying to kill a lot of people. <laughs> that just shows you guys are screwed up. <laughs> you know what I mean? He becomes an anti-hero. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it, but, it, but it was, I had a great time filming both of those and working with great people like Nick and, and everyone. It was uh, fantastic. You know, I take my hat off to everybody that I work with. And, Okay, that's just weird. When you sleep, I watch you. <laughs> what? Hey guys, I gotta take a time out for a special announcement. The fire marshal has said that if you are parked in a fire lane, fire lane, they are towing your car. So if you're parked in a fire lane, you might want to go move that real quick. Damn. Thanks. <laughs> Some people like it, some people don't, but I mean, it was a great opportunity to give a backstory to the character and, and give some emotion to him. And, uh, you know, that's what we tried to do because, I mean, you could go and redo the first one, but really, who wants to do that? You want to sh show another uh, imagining of it and, and bring something else to it, you know? Huh? Rob, I do not think will do another Halloween. They're talking about doing one. Um, I talked. I talked to. <laughs> shut up. <man. laughs> I talked to. Uh, 
Shut up, man. <laughs> I talked to them uh, a while back about it, and, and uh, it's just going to depend. You know, the suits are uh, going at it, trying to figure out what they want to do, and when they do, uh, you know, we'll see. And it's there's a lot of variables that come into play about it and stuff like that. But uh, you know, I, I'm at the point where if they do another one, great. I would love to do it, but uh, I've moved on and started my own production company and doing. Uh, uh, doing films now, so uh, keep it busy in that uh, avenue. Thank you. I, uh, I just started up uh, Main Entertainment, and uh, my first picture that we are doing is Compound Fracture, and somehow I was lucky enough to get in it. <laughs> and so it's uh, it's Derek Muse Watson, the killer from I Know What You Did Last Summer, and myself. So we have uh, three serial killers in it, uh, having a bunch of fun. And uh, we're in the editing stages of that right now, and we have uh, about three more months of that, and then we're starting up our next one in September called Penance Lane. Uh, that we're not sure of. We you know we will be done with the picture in about three months, and then. Uh, from there, we'll see. Thank you very much. Thank you. You also have a question. The question was, is there going to be a new Friday the 13th next year in 2013? I don't know. Uh, I know the, uh, the Platinum Dunes, when I, the last I talked to them uh, was like two months ago. Uh, they're saying that Friday is their favorite film they've ever made, and they'll drop whatever it is they're doing to they're doing to make the the sequel if the studios want to do it. Um, but the studios haven't greenlit it yet, and there's a lot of politics involved. And uh, I know they want to be back, like Platinum Dudes want to be back to play the character. But even if I'm not being a horror nerd myself, I just want to see more Fridays. Uh, 